welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to actually be doing a video that has been requested in the past and I'm actually summing up all the questions that I got in the past of how I film, what I use to film, what camera I have, do I have lighting. This will be helpful for anyone who wants to start their own YouTube channel as well as anybody who already has a YouTube channel but you're wondering like what can you get to make your videos a bit better and yeah so hopefully this is helpful for you guys. So let's get started. So first and foremost, the camera that I film on is a Canon T3i. I got it, I believe I got it on HSN or QVC, which breaks it up into installments. I've had this camera for about two years now, so hopefully I will get a chance to upgrade it soon, but that is the one that I film on currently. And pros and cons for this camera is pros. It's definitely a very clear picture. Um, it's The battery is very long lasting, it films very well, it has a lot of different features for photography, and it just films very nicely, which I really like the way it films. Some cons for it is that it does not autofocus. So sometimes when you watch my videos, I'll be out of focus. It's because if I move like even an inch, it does not refocus on my face. And if I'm holding up a product or anything, I have to refocus it onto the product. So that is kind of a pain. But yeah, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more high end, but not like super, super expensive, then I would definitely recommend the Canon T3i. And setup. I film in a really wide room as you can see, sorry for the mess behind me, but I film in front of a window. Now before I used to film with, I think I've always filmed in front of a window at some point, but I filmed in front of smaller windows. This window is rather large, like it's, I mean I'm stretching my arms out as far as it is, it's a pretty big window. So I'm using natural light because most of the times I'm filming in the afternoon and I do not like to film at night because then I have to use artificial light and I don't like artificial light as much as I like natural light. But the thing with natural light is, as you can see, it's changing a little bit right now because the sun is going behind and outside of the clouds. But I still like natural light so I like to film in front of, whoa that really changed. <laughs> I like to film in front of a window. It gives a lot of light and there's also a lot of light in this room. As you can see, there's a window or a door a window right here, there's a window over there which is not in the same room, there's a window right here and then you can't see but there's actually a window over here even though the blinds are on there now and the curtains down but there's actually a window right there too. So it's a very heavily lit room naturally, like a lot of windows. So if you're looking for somewhere that that's going to give you a really good light for your videos, I would suggest filming in a room that has at least two windows. <laughs> and not like really really tiny windows like if you can even if you need to like film in front of a door I used to film in front of a door and use that as my lighting because I just I love natural light so much better than artificial because I just feel like it looks more natural and yeah I don't know I like the light up of the face from the sunlight I don't know what I'm trying to say but yeah so I would advise filming in a well lit room and if you do not have a well lit room I would suggest buying some lights for sure I do have a set of lights that I got off of Amazon I will put those in the description box below and those lights I usually use when I'm filming either a tutorial or if I want to add a little just a little bit more light to the filming or to the video then I will add the lights in. Usually I don't have to because the light from this window is really really good but if I need extra lights then I will use the lights that I got from Amazon. Like I said I will put them in the description box below. They're very very good quality lights and they help to light up your whole video. Oh, as far as camera setup goes I have the camera set up on a ledge and I also have a tripod so right now you're seeing the camera and I'm gonna actually move it so I have a little thing where you can move on the tripod and you can adjust it and you can put it up down to the side blah 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 and that's really really nice because the tripod stabilizes your camera and it helps your camera not to move all over the place because especially with a T3i you want to like stay in the same spot it's very important but yeah, so I use a tripod. I have two different tripods. One has the screw on it, I guess, that comes off. They're both very similar. I will link both tripods in the description box below so you guys can see those. And I think it's really good to invest in a tripod. Like if you're looking for, okay, how, what do I absolutely, absolutely need to film pretty nice videos, I would say like a good camera and a tripod for sure 
and well lit room so yeah and the next thing is background so my backgrounds I mostly get from the craft store I have a background setup that is like two poles I do not know where it is actually I will go and get it so I have two poles as my background kind of thing this I also got from Amazon basically you can put it up as high as you want and it fans out like it has this bottom thing that kind of spans out I guess and you can put it on the ground and then you clamp like fabric in the back and stretch it across the back of you so that's really awesome also got these at on Amazon I will link that in the description box below as well. As far as backgrounds go, I mostly get my backgrounds from the craft store. I just get random fabrics and stuff like that, like sequin fabric or whatever fabric I like. Usually I use backgrounds for my tutorials. I don't use them in like normal everyday videos, which I want to start doing. I want to find a background that's like I will just use all the time. But my backgrounds really right now are very loud. They're very sparkly, so I don't really want to use a sparkly background all the time. But I get that from the craft store and they're usually like four bucks or whatever and then that'll set up and be my background. As far as editing goes, I used to edit on an iMovie, on iMovie and I tried editing on Windows uh, Media Player or Windows whatever that is, Windows Movie Maker and I just, I can't, I just can't do it. <laughs> it's just I'm not really good at it. I think that Windows Movie Maker is totally sufficient but you have to be able to use it like efficiently and I'm just really bad at it. So iMovie kind of makes it easy for you to use and you could just use iMovie um, if you have iMovie. I used to use that and now I use Final Cut Pro. Um, Final Cut Pro is pretty expensive though so for a very long time I used iMovie and that was totally fine and I only started using Final Cut Pro back in October because I had finally saved up enough money to buy Final Cut Pro because it's so much money. I think it's like $300 but if you have that kind of money it's definitely worth the investment. I'm so happy that I invested in Final Cut Pro. I wouldn't use any other editing system so far right now because it's the only one that I really really like that I have. I've tried Premiere Pro before and I feel like Final Cut Pro is a little bit easier to use. I'm more of the person that needs like easier. Like I can't have too many complicated functions and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it. That's pretty much how I film and edit my videos. Yeah, if you have any other questions for me, please put them in the comments section below. Any filming tips that you might have, definitely put those in the comments section below. Always looking for new tips and yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you liked it and it helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to just be yourselves. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!